the relationship between the US and Vietnam is on an upward trajectory, and it certainly is a significant one. Bilateral trade between the two countries worth some 113 billion US dollars. Well, I'm lucky enough to have sitting beside me now the United States Ambassador to Vietnam, the Honourable Mark Napper. Uh, Mark, great to have you with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Just wanted to talk to you about your recent trip to Washington for the US ASEAN Summit. What were the highlights of that? Well, thank you very much for the question. It's, um, it was an honour to be able to join Prime Minister Ching uh, during his visit to Washington. Uh, he, of course, was participating in the f uh, US ASEAN Special Summit uh, to commemorate the 45th anniversary of the United States' relationship with ASEAN and really to reflect upon uh, the broad relationship the U.S. enjoys uh, with this critical uh, part of the world. Um, but embedded within uh, that schedule was the Prime Minister's own bilateral uh, schedule to meet with uh, leadership of the United States. He met with uh, President Biden, with Vice President Harris, with half a dozen members of our cabinet. And I think the fact that he was so busy and engaged uh, is a reflection of the breadth and the depth of our two countries' relationship, as you said. Uh, 111 billion, 113 billion, depending on who you ask, uh, yeah. dollar trade relationship, which actually grew uh, in spite of COVID um, last year. And uh, really, I mean, so many different items that uh, we export to Vietnam. They're among our top 10 trading partners. Uh, the US is Vietnam's number one export market. Um, we're very happy to see so many great American companies doing business uh, in and with Vietnam. And we just hope to see uh, that continue to grow. There are billions of dollars that American companies are investing in Vietnam. Absolutely. Uh, companies, uh, you know, name brands like, like Intel, for example, has a huge presence here. Nike, um, on and on. I mean, these are, um, you know, Fortune 100 companies that see an interest in Vietnam. And um, you can see why. I mean, the Vietnamese economy is, is growing. Uh, the Vietnamese workers are highly skilled. Um, of course, you know, we continue to work with the Vietnamese government to ensure that there's a level playing field here for American uh, businesses and investors. Um, but I think uh, if my message to American businesses would be, you know, please come to Vietnam, please see what a great opportunity it is. You know, you've talked about the relationship between the US and Vietnam openly before, and you've actually said in a, in a recent interview that raising US-Vietnam relations to a strategic partnership is really important to you. It's a current priority for Washington. What needs to happen to make that uh, come to place? Well, I think, uh, first of all, it's, it's you know, going to be a bilateral decision. Um, this has to be something that we, and we are regularly discussing with our Vietnamese counterparts, um, our hope to upgrade our relationship, because we, we feel that um, going from where we are now, which is a uh, comprehensive partnership, to a strategic partnership reflects uh, what's already happening in the relationship. We, with Vietnam, we share strong interests, both regionally and globally. We share similar goals. We're already talking in terms of, of two uh, partners who have uh, aligned strategic interests. So for us, it, it makes sense for the upgrade. Um, but again, it has to be a bilateral uh, decision based on bilateral discussions, which are pretty regular and, and ongoing. Do, are you optimistic? Do you feel that that's close? I think, you know, I think my job is to always be optimistic. Uh, I can't really put a timeline on things. But I do think that um, that the relationship right now is, is uh, strong and, and already strategic and certainly hope that we we end up there at some point. You know, it's a very positive relationship. As I said in my intro, it's a, the relationship is very much on an upward trajectory right now. Yes. How Defence is an important part of that relationship. How do things stand now with the conflict with Russia and Ukraine? Well, thank you. It's, um, you know, of course, we, as with every, virtually every other country in the region, we do talk um, with our, our counterparts uh, here and elsewhere about what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, uh, you know, we're very grateful for the humanitarian assistance that Vietnam announced uh, for Ukraine, uh, $500,000. And so, um, you know, these conversations will continue uh, with Vietnam um, and as, as with, with many others in the region about, about the, um, the conflict that's taking place. Vietnam have uh, got a very strong focus on climate change. Yes. Uh, you know, they've come to the US, they've asked for help, you know, in certain areas of what they're doing. How do you see that moving forward? What do you see the US actually contributing to Vietnam? Well, this is um, US-Vietnam cooperation in climate um, is a key pillar of our relationship. This is something we had, uh, I think my, my third week on the job back in February, um, special uh, presidential envoy John Kerry came to Vietnam for a, an extensive visit to Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, to talk with the leadership here, to talk with businesses here about what the United States and Vietnam can do together um, to, to work with Vietnam on its very bold um, climate commitments. Uh, when Prime Minister Ching was in Glasgow for COP26, 
Uh, he took a very strong leadership role and, and, and laid out some very ambitious uh, goals for Vietnam when it comes to climate, when it comes to its energy transition. The U.S. is absolutely uh, there with them side by side. We want to be a part of this, uh, this effort. Um, in fact, when Prime Minister Ching was in the U.S. in Boston, he saw um, Secretary Kerry again to discuss this and how our two countries can work together. But we absolutely see a role for the United States, for U.S. businesses as Vietnam makes its transition to renewables. You know, great American companies are operating in this space and uh, we, fully, we fully intend to be a part of this effort. Ambassador, one of the key topics that's being discussed at the conference here this morning is the US-China relationship and how that fits into businesses and how they do business within the region. How much focus do you have on your day job, you know, when it comes to helping business navigate the US-China relationship within Vietnam? Well, you know, for us, I mean, we look at our relationship with Vietnam and we would like to make it as a, as a positive agenda. It's not so much what what we're sort of standing against, but what we stand for. And in Vietnam, we see great opportunities for American businesses to move here, not just in terms of the great market that's here, 100 million, uh, 100 million people, a young demographic, a very appealing demographic for American businesses, but also for American manufacturers, great opportunities to, to work here, to build here, um, and not just sell here. And so we, every day, are talking with our, our business counterparts on how, um, how they can come here and succeed and thrive not just serving this market, but the region and the world. Ambassador, really appreciate your time today. Well, thank you so much, Ariel. I appreciate it as well.